During this uh, period of lockdown, information is coming rushing at us from so many different sources. We can read uh, newspapers or we can listen to the television or scour the internet for articles about COVID-19 or about lockdown here and around the world. We're faced with this avalanche of information. Uh, the internet, of course, has made this much worse because so much information is right at our fingertips in a way that previous generations had to search much harder for. In fact, they may never have been able to find the sheer volume of information that's available. So how are we to understand all that information? Statistics, facts, figures, conflicting claims. How are we supposed to weigh it? Well, the Bible makes a very big distinction between what we might call information on the one hand, facts, figures, and wisdom. That's the ability to interpret the facts and the figures. And places uh, like this remind me with these lovely uh, wooden panels of a library uh, that I used to work in, uh, full of books with endless pieces of uh, literature from down the ages, contemporary writers, philosophers, theologians and others, uh, packed full of information. The challenge was assessing it, dissecting it, learning from it and then applying it. Now the Bible, which of course is a library of 66 books, 39 in the Old Testament and 27 in the New, in the Old Testament book of Proverbs, it's all about wisdom. Here are some verses from the book of Proverbs, chapter two. My son, if you accept my words, then tune your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. And if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver or hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God, for the Lord gives wisdom. The writer to the Proverbs book is probably Solomon and he's pretty passionate about getting us excited about being wise, not just in our thinking but in our behaviour. The whole book is full uh, of these sayings to make us wiser than we would otherwise be. And the emphasis which we take today for ourselves is about seeking wisdom, just like you'd look for buried treasure for silver or gold, seek it with all your heart. So the key, I think, in these corona times particularly, is not simply to receive the vast tsunami of facts and figures coming at us, but is to ask God for wisdom to understand their implication. Anybody can hear a fact, but is it true? How do we weigh the various merits of the various facts? And more important still, perhaps, how do we weigh the impact on other people? How can we behave in a way which is wise towards others? If we feel frustrated by physical distancing and want to blow all those rules out of the water, that's fine. But how will we act wisely in the presence of others who don't feel that way? In a way that honours them as people holding a different view from our own. So the key to moving forward in these days to our thinking and prayers is to ask God for his wisdom, to evaluate all that we hear so that the way we act towards others treats them with dignity as human beings, doesn't dismiss their view in a, a cavalier or, or superficial way, but honours them as people, even if they have a different view to our own. So that in our behaviour, in the way we speak to people, in the way we talk to neighbours and friends and family who, who may be exiting lockdown at a different pace to us, slower or faster, may God give us wisdom so that our family relationships can be retained in a strong way. So that that colleague at work who's particularly nervous and fearful, we treat wisely. And that other colleague at work who is gung-ho and doesn't care less about social distancing and is sitting on your desk chatting to you as if there's no problem. How are we wise in dealing with them? That honours their view, but, but treats them also with respect, 
and yet doesn't dismiss the kind of thing that they're thinking. So let's pray for wisdom today. Wisdom in all our relationships, wisdom to discern information, wisdom not to believe everything we hear, but to weigh it carefully. The Bible values wisdom. Facts are one thing, figures are another. Information, wow, tons of it. May God grant us today, not the ability to retain loads of facts, but the ability today to manage the facts well and to act and live and speak as those who are wise.